Yeah. Here you have the Quran also making many claims. Yeah, well, there's all lots of the, things I've read in the Quran all of, aren't correct. All of them are right. They're not. Okay, like what, for example? Uh, the earth isn't a rug. Um, the <laughs> mountains aren't <laughs> pegs. Oh, come, on. Um, oh, come on, this is silly. I mean, the, the embryology in there is spurious. <laughs> oh, um, the fact that salt and, uh, you know, when you get this sort of barrier between salt water and uh, river water, whatever, yeah, you can see that. Physically you, demonstrable. You can see that. If I got a jug of uh, salt water, seawater, and river water, and they'd mix. You just, put, just pour them in that's, a bucket. That's they not what the Quran is saying. Yeah, yeah but these are that, miracles. Okay, I'm a, a Nowist. Yeah, so this is, I mean, if you're going to be ridiculous about it, uh, that's, that's uh, why. You, Can you hear yourself? Yeah, I can. Okay. So man. this is why I say, you're, you've, cause you've made up something called a Nowist. I made up something. And, and yet, now you're telling me. Well, all me, I know is that this is what is. It's the final revelation. Yes. Which we can demonstrate to be uh, uh, preserved. Which yes. we can demonstrate could not have been the work of a man in the seventh century. Why? Lots of mistakes. Of course, that's life. Right, right, that's life, right? So if we can connect to a guidance mm. that is not pure, that's yeah. not purely based upon uh, subjective, uh, you know, uh, social consensus that alters and changes over time, and make all those mistakes along the way, and if we have some pure guidance that can perhaps save us from those... Well, that's the Qur'an, right? Right, of course. For us it's Islam, it's the Qur'an, right? I mean, for some people it's the New Testament, right? Yes. For other people it's other books. Absolutely. Right? I mean, no, well, what, I'm what I'm trying to say to you, as, as, but from to my perspective, yeah, ideas. but from my perspective as a Muslim, mm. if I feel that there is a way of life that protects me from all of those things, from alcohol, from interest, from gambling, from, from drugs, from drugs, uh, from sexual immorality, Okay, it saves me from marriage breakup potentially, it saves me from all of those complications in life, then it makes sense for me to follow that teaching, right? If it works for you, yeah. yeah. Can so, we not use our common sense and experience as well? well? We, not, it's not the Quran just the writing down of um, things that people have known for thousands of years. Well, we believe that... There's nothing that new in it, is it? It suddenly doesn't jump out of nowhere and tell everyone, give the earth morality. I mean, well, you've got well, Exodus, yeah, got endless yeah. dictates in there. Sermon on the Mount, you've got the Buddhist uh, Dharma. It's exactly the same. Yeah. There's no difference there. So it's, it's just, for me, it's not... Okay, maybe there is a divine dimension. Okay, I'm not denying that. That's not in question here. But humans learn from experience. We're clever. You know, we don't always need divine intervention to understand the world. We use our brains and we use observation. Children understand that if I poke you, it feels, you know, I've got a child will develop empathy when someone pokes back. We learn from experience. We don't, we can understand compassion and empathy. So there's, there's two things there. Number one, I don't disagree with you about the similarity of many moral codes that are found throughout history. It's human experience. But that's not the human experience. That actually, no, it all, you just said it all has some sort of a divine connection. No, I, I didn't say that. I said I'm not denying there's a divine yes. experience in this, but, so what but I'm, I'm no, saying what, what we I don't would, always need the divine. What, I would, just, what I, mean, I would argue oh, with you, what I would argue with you is that we, we, in Islam, we believe that all of the people of this world throughout mm. history, human history, have received messengers from God. I, I, so I know they, this. I know this. I know. So they would have received guidance. I, I hear, and that they've lost the message. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. That's not my point. All right, go my on. point is that where we find moral consistency of being good, kind, not killing, not stealing, not raping. Child. Yeah, but I would argue that from an Islamic point of view, that all of these teachings have permeated throughout history through divine revelation or divine uh, people being sent, uh, div divine that. command being sent down to the people, right? As guidance. So I need an angel to tell me not to, let me just now, say, no, let but let me get say, the second, let me, let, let me get the second point. I need point. an angel to stop me putting my hand in the fire. Well, let me, let me say the second point. The second point is that we can, you said we can logically think about these things. Well, we can experience, we have experience. If I put my hand in the fire, much of our experience, much of our that. experience, mm actually comes from religious teachings. Well, okay, let's go back to the hand in the fire. I put my hand in the fire. Yes. I don't need God to tell me not to do that. I, I know, I put the hand in the fire, I yeah. know not to do it. Imran, salam alaikum. How you doing, you all right? You got down. <laughs> How you doing, you all right? Bro brother, what it is, is that... No, but you understand Yeah, of course, of course. But that, that's all it is. No, no, but we believe that there are some intrinsic, intrinsic truths that we all recognize. 
So for example, if I was to punch you in your tummy, you would experience pain, yeah. regardless of whether you believe in a God or you don't believe in a God. Yeah. So there are some intrinsic realities that we all experience. Yeah. Now, there are some other things that potentially are, let's say, debatable or, or we can discuss. Mm. For example, mm. to invade another country and to steal their resources because it's good for my people. Mm. That can be a very subjective discussion or argument. Mm especially if you leave God out of the picture. Because then you could say, well, we are all a product of a primordial soup. Atoms simply, atoms simply coming together and assembling themselves in a particular way. Mm. And my people, my culture, I feel subjectively that are superior to every other culture, every other person. Yeah. So if I come into your land because I'm stronger, yeah. Just like the lion tears the wildebeest yeah. to shreds, so we, yeah. I'm going to come into your territory, steal your resources, and I'm going to kill all of your people. Yeah. Now, how would you, without God being in the picture, say somehow intrinsically, as a matter of fact, that that's an immoral action? Okay, well, a lot of these places, they, they, they worked out it wasn't a good idea to do that, and they worked out some kind of um, reciprocal arrangement with these places. No, so but how would you but argue? They, but they did, no, but not, I'm saying that that doesn't always happen. Often it's not like that. There'll be a reciprocal arrangement. It's not good to go and then kill everyone. We'll try and we'll get... There's a two-way street, perhaps. So, but how would you establish that as a matter of fact? Well, well you see it in history. No, that's not that, that's not matter of fact. That's an opinion, right? What do you mean? I don't. This is very. How, how would you say to that person, "Don't do that. That's an immoral action." How well, would you be able to establish about that? Perfect morality. I don't think it really exists. People, okay. Everyone's often looking for something they can get for themselves. I understand that. Yeah. But there is there is a level of compassion inherent within a human being that can be tapped into. No, I now, agree. Whether that's divine or not. No, I, no, I, I, I agree. Compassion and having non-compassion yeah, is yeah. something that we can establish. A mother, a mother doesn't need well, the divine well, my, to know how to love its child. I totally agree. Child. I totally agree. I totally agree. But if she if she decides not to feed that child and that child dies, mm. well, how that's an unusual how, scenario. It does I, happen. I totally agree. It does happen. How would you establish, from a matter of fact, that what you've done is completely immoral? Well, you you. It's, you can just say whatever you want. You can say it comes from a book that was given to a man in a cave in the Middle East, seventh century, or you can say you heard it from your father. It's of no concern. It's just you either have the idea in your head or you don't. Okay. Its source, its source is debatable as to whether it's its authenticity or it's where its origin is from. People knew these things before the Quran, so it's obviously it's a universal. These uh, Carl Jung calls them archetypes. You know these ideas, these principles. They're in here. They're unavoidable archetypes. Now you could say that is a, yeah, that's a tribute to Allah. That's fine yeah. if you want to say that. You could call, I mean, Allah just means God, right? Yes. So it's this sort of nebulous idea of some being beyond us, that's created universe separate from its creation. That's okay. You see, yeah. what we what we would argue is this: that from a purely materialistic reality, mm. it's impossible to argue with a, a definite that this particular action or that particular action is immoral or moral. Okay. Because I'll tell you why. Why do I know morality? But, but please, let me just, if I, if I could just finish my mm. point, yeah? No, no, that, that's a different argument. Right, and, and, we, and we can make that, we can have that argument, we can have that discussion. Okay. The, the, the reason why it's difficult, mm. or if not impossible, is because a purely material existence is purely, uh, uh, purely uh, is saying that you are assembled with atoms in a different way from this brother or from me mm. or from a, a gazelle or from a, 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 an antelope or whatever. Mm. There's no meaning beyond that. And whatever meaning beyond that that you attribute is again simply uh, arbitrary. Well, it's various. We have different gods and different cultures. No, no, that, that's a different argument, right? No, it's not. Now, what, I'm, what I'm saying to you is that from, a, from our paradigm, I could turn around and tell you to go and kill an innocent person and steal his resources yes. is haram, forbidden. It's immoral. Now, I can't tell you it's immoral from a purely materialistic standpoint. The only way I can come to that conclusion is that mm. Allah has made it immoral. So for me, that yardstick of certainty to measure everything by comes from the Creator. I hear that. But when I use my own yardstick, I could argue that it's perfectly moral. Just like Dick Cheney, after the uh, Iraq war, 
when he was asked, why did you invade Iraq and kill up nearly a million okay, people? Let me no, he, 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 he said no, no, I, okay, he, he, it, was in our, it was in our benefit. I'm going to get lost. You're saying that, that people can't, can't uh, generate or, uh, or experience philosophical, moral uh, principles without the idea of God. No, I didn't say that. But that's what you're implying. No, we believe that that's a lot. What you're implying, no, no, no. Because if, no, no, if you no. said that to me and we were in Greece and you had the, the, the Stoics and all the yeah, different yeah, philosophers yeah, and so yeah. on, and they, they thought about and you know, am I not allowed to listen to them and go, and through my, and through empathy. I'm, I'm going to just go and pray now. <laughs> through empathy and compassion, understand that. Yeah. I can understand so, so, that. So, without, Dr. Imran. No, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand that without God. Can you? Though? Yes. I can. Okay, so you, you're saying you've, you've evolved your morality, right? It's happened. I just no, no, said, it's no, happened. you can't. You, you can. So I'm not a Muslim, so, no, no, but I know it's wrong to rape. I know it's wrong to rape. I don't have to be a Muslim to know no, that's no, no. wrong. Well, that's an, you're arguing a side point. No. Well, the, the question here is about the basis of your morality. Where do you get your morality from? Now, if you're saying, look, we can... I know all, the all, of your, all of your statements so far with the brother... You're talking about a nebulous idea of God. There's no nebulous idea. It's very clear. Right? Can you guys excuse me? I'm just going to go crazy. Is that okay? You're talking about, you know, I can just sit there and think about it. Well, I have, I'm, I'm a fully complete. I'm a, I, have a, I have the whole systems here. How do you know that? Well, I'm able to understand it's not a good idea to, to well, how, uh, how, rape. Just, just how do you know that? Because I know. I if you had, so I know. I don't. So I've never read the. Read the I, I have read some of the Quran. Oh, I've never read the Quran. Let me just. I've never read the Quran. Right. So therefore, I don't understand it's not right to rape someone. Is that right. what you're saying? So don't give these emotions. No, no, no but that's, 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 that's not what that's I'm saying. That's not nonsensical. So so that's what your whole hear, argument, hear argument is. So you're, no, this, you're not listening. This is dogmatic. You're not listening. So you're telling me that I'm not listening whilst not letting me talk. You're implying that because I'm not a Muslim, no. I don't know that I'm it's not wrong to rape. So what? So is my, is my, okay, is my, is my moral judgment... What's your, what's your wait, wait, wait. Let me just say this before I forget. Before I forget. You're saying my moral judgment not to go and rape is invalid. We're not this, saying that. Okay, so what's, it's valid, what's your, what's your name? Is Alex, 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 Alex yeah. Yeah. So is, is, is my morality... Yeah. What, one just, question, just one, this is all I want to know. Is my one. morality valid? Just one question. That's it, and then I won't uh, say Alex, anymore. Alex, Alex. Is my morality valid? Alex, just one second. As is my to morality as valid as compared to, what? to not go out and hurt someone? That's... Is it, is it yes or no? It's not a yes or no answer. Well, it's obviously if you, no, if you, wanna, you, you if can't you, answer. No, no, this is the problem here. But you're this saying is, you're my morality is invalid because it's that, not from Alex, God. Alex, 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 Come Alex, on. Alex, 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 listen, listen. Let's have a conversation. Not, Alex, I am having no, no, a conversation, no, you're not. but you don't answer getting, my questions. No, no, we are, we're trying to. What you're doing is you're giving these... Primary difficult questions no, no, for you. But you're not allowed to argue. Well, allowed well to I'm not hearing anything. Well, All I hear is, is, is you so you want, this is what, sorry, what was your name? Alex. 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 What I'm, what, Imran, Imran Abbas. What? The, I want to go and the, pray, but let's have a let's have a conversation. We are, but you're not answering. No, no. But hold on a second, Alex. Alex, the questions that you ask, you may feel you may feel should be answered in a yes or no, and not all questions can be answered in a yes or no. Okay, I hear that. So let him answer the question. But you're one thing quickly. You're asking me where do I get my morality from? What's your basis for morality? Okay, and my experience of morality is it's something that I just know. It's inherent. I know. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Right. So now, now we. All right. But enjoy. That, yeah. That's the that's the first level of your answer. Yeah. I just know this. I, a mother knows how to love her child, doesn't she? She does. She doesn't need the Quran. She just knows it. So does she need the Quran to know so how to go. love her child? So this is these are the emotive sort of type of questions. No, these are these. It's not emotional. This so is just a fact. Many most. A lot of women have children, but they don't need a holy book to know how to, or a father to know how so to. Do you think that the, okay. the people? Do you think that we're saying? Do you think as a Muslim, mm. I'm saying to you that the reason the mother loves a child is because it's written in the book? No, that, I'm exactly. saying no. So I'm saying point, that things are inherent. So Alex, so hear what you're saying. No one is making the argument to you that the reason we do things is because it's written in the book. That's not. That is not the argument. And if you're okay, coming, if so you're what's com the book and, and then? The whole. The whole thing you've come with okay, is I'm ready. in your book, and that's why you do it. Okay. That doesn't make sense. That's what I was hearing. Absolutely. Okay, so explain now to that, me then. That as a fundamental basis for a discussion, you're, you're talking about something okay, else. Okay, go on. We're talking about where does your morality come from? Now, you, you revert to a book straight away. That's not the. That's not where we're talking you about. You don't get your morality from the Quran, no? no we don't get okay. it from a book. So okay. the, the question here is, right. the morality has to have a basis. And I'll give mm. an example. As you, are you what, you're an atheist, agnostic, or uh, I don't want to say it. No. I'd rather not just keep it. You should do the discussion, isn't it? If Look, I'm talking Satanist. to another theist, no, if I'm talking to a theist, um, then I have then there's a different. Oh, does it matter? Does it matter? Can't we just be human? I'm human. 
you're human. Great, I'm, I'm human, human being. Well. That's that good. Then us, we got it even. That, that doesn't tell us anything in terms of where our positions are. It does. We have this. Okay, I'm a, a nowist. Yeah. So this is. I mean, if you're going to be ridiculous about it, uh, that's, is, that's uh, fine. You, can you hear yourself? Yeah, I can. Okay. So no. this is why I say you're, you've because you've made up something called a nowist. I made up something. And, and yet now you're telling me. Well, all me, I know is that this is what is. Okay, so can, this is okay. This is my belief. This is my my belief is what exists is now. Yeah. So I, I there's think, nothing outside of this moment. There is nothing outside of this moment. No. There's no future and there's no past. There's it's the eternal present. Okay. That's so I'm a nowist. Okay. So whatever goes now is fine. Yeah. No, it's just what is. You'll only ever know now. Okay. So whatever goes now is fine. Right? It could be fine or it could be painful. It could be pleasurable or painful. So, so then in that now moment, what's the point? What judge, more, more judgment? Okay, well, in that now moment, the now moment expresses itself through duality. No, no, you're... Pleasure, I'm trying to explain my yeah, faith. Yeah. Pleasure, pain, heaven, hell, up, no thing down, hell. dog, There's only cat. Now. There's no now. Well, okay, the principles of heaven. Uh, okay, pleasure, pain, then, if that's preferable to you. You've said it. Yeah, it's like whatever works. I'm seeing, so you're talking about the now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, everything's here. here. Yeah. Now. Okay, let's say there is a heaven or hell, right? No, let's no, say, no, let me, you okay, this, I'm trying to, I'm your trying to. A now and then you talk won't about let me it. talk about my belief. I, I, if, let's say there is a heaven and a hell, yeah. it's now, it's not in the future or the past. Where is it? Oh, you, well, exactly, Absolutely. it's hidden. It's hidden behind veils. Okay. It's just hidden like, behind just veils. Like the past and the future. Yeah, there's no past and future. It doesn't exist now. Okay. That's one thing I can be sure of. Okay. Because I'm a nowist, I'm pretty dogmatic. Great. That's great. <laughs> now, so, so this you is what I'm. This is. About, right? This is what I mean by. You're the only one talking. This is what I mean. This is what I mean by the ridiculousness of the positions you okay. take. So where did this come from? I started. To I'm ask, ridiculous. Uh, no, the position. The position you're, you're not. You're a human being. Okay, you're I'm not ridiculous. I'm sure that's you're a great, enough. wonderful person, Alex. That's very sweet. The point here is, I'm talking about. So you're you're taking everything very personally. I'm talking about the positions you're taking. All I, I can do all is I, take things personally. You, That's all, all I, you can do in no, life. No, no, I'm not. Of course you are. I haven't taken anything that you said personally. You have. You got a bit wound up. <laughs> I, I, not at all. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to get you to focus on the actual question. You want me to be a Muslim. I know. I don't want you to be anything. Just like, be yourself. No, no, I don't, it's up to you. It's not though, is it? It is up to you. It's not. Because if I don't become a Muslim, I'll burn in hell. No, but it's up to you. That's the cudgel no, no, you have behind is, your back. This is, this you is, say, oh no, no it's okay. Here we go. This is another emotive Gosh. argument. This is like, I won't. I, 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 yeah, what's wrong with emotion? Emotion is part of the human condition. If I don't condition. go through a red why don't you go through red lights when you're driving? Why don't I go through red lights? Because I don't want to get a fine? I don't want to crash into okay. someone? I don't this, know. Yeah. So you, you're going to say that's the, 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 the cudgel they use, the. The, the, the acts that they use to sort of make me do these things, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this? Some of life is like that, yeah. Okay. Some of life, it's not so clear. Co life is complex, isn't it? Well, there's a, many things so going on. So let's have a complex discussion. Uh, yeah? was, so okay, you, well, you, you let's see if you can, yeah. yeah. Let's see, there, there we go. So, you see, there we go. There we go. So the, all, this all started from me just simply asking you what position did you take. And I said now, you and, you, and you laughed a, at a, me. A, you said it was ridiculous. You, and you made up this position. What, do you, do just you know to what not have a discussion. So we spent... Ten minutes you, what, talking about. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a theist. I'm not a, an atheist. Okay. So, and I'm not a Muslim. I'm not a Christian. I'm okay. a Nowist. What's okay. wrong with that? So, I, so in my in my view, that if you are not a theist, yeah, yeah. and you're going to bring any moral, any anything that you regard as. Oh, ah, okay. Now any, we get anything to that it, you. Yeah. Regard, yeah, I was trying. To, I was trying to do that ten minutes okay. ago. But you made up this Nowist issue. And I made and up then, this then, now, yeah, like yeah. Muhammad made up Islam. No, you didn't make it up. Oh, I see that. What's the difference? So this is a discussion. How do you know I didn't see an angel earlier, and then he came to me and told me about Nowism? Did you Did you see an angel earlier on? I didn't. No. Okay. Have you got any evidence for that? No. Okay. So now we're not talking about. We're talking about chalk and cheese. You want to ask about the? You want All to the religions Islam? start with some experience out in the desert or in a cave. Do they? Know, yeah, they do. Buddha was sitting out in the wilderness, wasn't he? He had his enlightenment. But the, but Muhammad that, was in the cave. Moses went up the mountain. Lao Tzu went out somewhere. But everyone, you know, so Christ was and in then, the and desert. Then what were the, and, what did they, and what did they establish? So let's take the Prophet Muhammad. What did he, well, I don't know. They what, came what did he back with a religion, didn't they, that millions of people followed? I don't know. Right. What? This is, this anyway, let's get back to your point. No, this is the dismissal, and this is the of actually his, position. This yeah. is your the arrogant position that people take okay. of dismissing. Don't get emotional. Of dis I'm not emotional. <laughs> Staying the word arrogant doesn't make me emotional. You are. Arrogant. The, the, the people who get emotional are the ones who... I don't mind being emotional. It's oh, quite great. normal to be an emotional it's human being. Good. It's, good to it's be all right emotional. to be... You should try it, yeah. man. But I think, thank the you point, very the much. Point, the, point here, the point here is this. Yeah. You bringing up that they came from the desert or the cave or whatever. Well, they went into okay, it. It's fine. always holy okay. men. Okay. Always. Okay. That's, that's a, does, that's that, a, does that inherently make it true or false? 
Depends what you believe in. No, no. If you believe in the Quran, it's true, but you don't believe in Jesus. No, no, no. no, no. The fact that where it came from or how it came from, does that inherently somehow logically make it true or false? I don't know. Einstein came up with E equals MC squared without God, and it seems to work quite well, no, but right? Your position of it came from a cave or it came from a desert or whatever. All I'm does saying that inherently, is. That, look, you're not answering my question. Does that this inherently. Is that you don't take answer my question. I'll answer your question, but answer this one first. Does, it, in, does it inherently make it true or false as to how it came or where it came from? Nobody knows. Okay, so if, if you don't know, then it's irrelevant to the wild topic. I don't know if, if Muhammad saw an angel in the cave or okay. not. How it wasn't there. You, you don't know. Does you it don't know either. Does you it, weren't there. Does it make it inherently true or false? That's the point. Right. So let's have a meaningful well, no, discussion. It's, 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 Look, it's, I think it's let's, hard to let's have, have a meaningful discussion. No, because I'm a difficult customer. No, enjoy not, the, not, enjoy the challenge. Let's Come have on. a meaningful discussion. Enjoy the challenge. Let's have a meaningful discussion. Alex is really amusing. Am I giving you... Am I giving you... Is this difficult for you? Am I no, difficult? You're not. No, well, look, come on. Give, I, no, sometimes what, you have what? to have a challenge. What? Right. Check, you know Facetious, you can, Alex, you know what I mean? For a conversation, maybe, no, but not. Alex, not for a conversation to be meaningful, yeah. we have to engage. And to engage, it means that you hear what the other person says Absolutely. and you respond to it. I've tried. And vice versa. Okay, let's go from if now. If we constantly interject and just keep throwing things in that are irrelevant to the conversation. I don't think it happened. happen. Well, if you say to me, it all came from a desert and a cave. No, and this, I said yeah. holy it's, men, it's, traditionally, it's, most it's, revelations it's not come theist, from... Not an right, but what's that got to do with what we're talking about? It's and how does it change? I've got to have to go back to the conversation. I how can't remember. We've gone on all kinds of no, different... but how does it change yes, the reality of whether it's true or not? That's what I'm trying to say to you. I don't know if Muhammad's experience was true or wasn't there. But regardless of your believing or not believing it, it doesn't hmm. change whether it happened or it didn't happen. I don't know if it did. I don't know. It might I'm have. Not, it I'm might have happened. I'm not know. saying that it did or it didn't as a consequence. I'm saying you not knowing that whether it did or didn't happen does not change the reality or whether it did or it didn't no, happen. I know that. Okay, so it's irrelevant to our conversation okay. because we're trying to hopefully get to truth. Okay, go on. So the point that Brother Imran is trying to make to you is Unless you have an objective yardstick to measure morality mm. by, yes. it becomes purely fluid, subjective, often nurture and nature, nurture perhaps being more of an overriding force in establishing what is moral or immoral. Would you agree to that? You have to have something objective. To be certain of any position. Okay, so what would that be, what would that be then? No, no, regardless of what that would be, I'm just saying, can you arrive? from a purely materialistic uh, basis, uh, okay, so a reality of objective truth when it comes to morality. Uh, all I know is that I know what, I have a morality, it may not be the same as yours. No, that's fine, that's a different thing altogether. Can we arrive at an objective truth when it comes to morality? We can have a general consensus, but there's always okay. going to be room Consen for movement. Consensus. There's right. going to be room right. for so movement. So I agree with you, yeah. that we can have a consensus yeah. of what people generally feel yes. to be moral or immoral. Well, yes. And that will change over time, depending upon our nurture yes and, and our no, nature. generally, I, I would say that the... the yeah, the principles stay the same Some mainly. Some fundamentals so like murder, time, rape, would, Well, yeah, yeah, we know yeah, that's yeah, not right, good, right? right? Right, of course. So, but there are many other things that are open to, let's say, grey areas when it comes to subjectivity. Because of new discoveries, different cultures. Yeah, of course, okay, that's life. It's that's complex, fine. as I say. So, yeah. so, so let me ask you a question now. Yeah. If a consensus in a particular country was actually raping of women is acceptable. Well, you'd fight against that. No, no. I would. But I'm just saying, from your paradigm, how would you argue or establish that that is wrong, immoral, that is immoral? Because I, I inherently know that they are suffering. So a feeling? Yeah. Of knowing, yes? Yeah. Okay. And they tell you, but your feeling is wrong. Our feeling is right. We're the majority. We think it's perfectly okay to do this. Uh, because they'll say, look, dolphins do it. Other animals do it. So if you're an animal, from a purely material, mm. materialistic sense of point, uh, point of view, you should do it too. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't do it. And no, I'm, I'm not saying you would, yeah. because you inherently believe it's wrong. Yeah. But I'm saying from a purely philosophical, intellectual position, mm. To arrive at a conclusion where you can say 100% you are all wrong, yes, and I am 100% right. Well, I would right. just go with that because uh, I know I would have a mother, I would understand. I understand. I understand. I have understand. sisters, I, I would understand. understand. I have empathy, I have compassion. Yes. If I'm not psychopathic, yes, then I would understand that. It's yeah, inherent. But, 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 but so, so basically, what you're now saying is that from your subjective reasoning, yes, and your feelings, That's all we can have, yeah. and your feelings, yes. 
you would perhaps yeah. still say that was wrong. Yes. But you wouldn't be able to tell them inherently that they were wrong because they got their social. Well, consensus. I could tell them all they want. We'd end up in a fight. That would be life. However, yeah. from a from a stance of being able to convince them out of certainty that this is wrong. You wouldn't have that. Well, I'd ask, I'd, I'd speak to their reason and talk, ask them, do you have mothers? Do you have sisters? Do you know how it feels right. to, do you right. understand how it feels to be um, persecuted yes. or to feel pain? They say, we, and, we, and, and we, then, we know all that. We, we, we know all that, but we think this is right. Well, then either they'd either kill me or I'd kill them. Right. That now, we, now for Some us, for us, alhamdulillah, we have something mm. that we can give to them, take to them, say to them, even if the whole world was to argue mm. that rape is acceptable, mm. we would say 100% it's haram, it's forbidden, oh, I it's could wrong, do that too. and it's wrong. But we would say, not because we feel it, mm. because we do feel it, but we would say because the one that created everything, mm. created you, has made, has made this haram and forbidden and immoral. So do you see the difference here? Well, you, anyone can make up anything about a God coming down and tell you. Got, I could put those feelings into words and say it came from I God. I to totally agree. And, and, I could, and I could be misled. I could be really believe that I... I totally agree. I could believe this is divine. Yes. But if I There's establish no through evidence to myself mm. that it is divine, then would you, argue, would you agree that now I have something that, at least from my subjective uh, view of it, through investigation, through and analyzing the evidence, that I, I can now argue that I have something objective rather than my own feelings. I don't think it, okay, I hear that. It's all about the objectivity for you, it? not even what necessarily the words in the book. Because I could come up with a book and say the same thing, Sermon on the Mount, some of the laws in Exodus are very similar. Yes. Uh, I, I mean, you know, proving it's divine. I mean, back then the written word was, you know, for the elite, for the priesthood, for the divine. So most people will be aghast at that, the fact that you can read. Not, not for Muslims, by the way. That's a Christian, that's a very Christian thing. But no, but reading back then, well, I mean, sure not many people read, did they? No, but in Islam, what we have a rich tradition. Allah says in the Quran that the one who is learned is not equal to the one who's not learned. The one who's literate and learned is not equal to the one who's illiterate and unlearned. So one of the things, for example, That's not very moral, is it? so one of the things, for example, um, if you had a battle and you captured people, one of the ways that he could get released, get his freedom is if he taught 10 people how to read. So this was something established very early on in Islam. Well, I don't doubt Islam was very progressive for its time and had some great ideas. And that's not that's not in question. I'm just saying this concept of not making people literate was well, not an Islamic uh, concept. Okay, but, it was it, yeah, was, it was a Christian right. concept. But you know, people can write. There's lots of texts, religious texts, Gnostic texts, Gnostic texts. texts uh, you know, there's loads of them. No, but what we would agree with you upon I mean, is that there are good teachings men men. that permeate through society throughout history. Yes. But we would argue because Allah says that every we'd never punish a people until we send them a warner. We believe that they all received messengers and teachings about morality, yeah. and we believe that that morality those teachings have indeed permeated through society. But what we say is that the ultimate reality for us as Muslims is the final revelation, yes. which we can demonstrate to be uh, uh, preserved, which yes. we can demonstrate could not have been the work of a man in the seventh century. Why? Because when we look at the Quran and it's uh, the, the very concepts of the Quran, mm. the Quran claims to be a miracle. Yes. And when we look at what those miracles might be, we very soon establish mm. for ourselves that there is no explanation other than it coming from the divine. Like what? So, for example, prophecies. Yeah. So, in Surah Rome, uh, about the Romans being defeated. The Romans being defeated. Okay. What we would argue is that this is something that was counterintuitive yeah. because the Romans are on their last legs. The Persians are the dominant force, the Persians could have simply gone back and, and defeated the Romans and wiped them off and that would have been the end. Eventually the downfall of the two empires comes from the Muslims. Yeah. So the Muslims defeat the, both the Persians and the Romans. Now, now, had that happened earlier, or the Romans attacked the Muslims first, or the Pers that the Romans could have been defeated by the Muslims, not by the Persians. I mean, is it that, is it that impressive? So, what well, I would argue... Well, a lot of people make predictions. Of course they do, but many of them come wrong. Of course. But you're always going to get one that's right. We'll put that in the book. Ah, I mean, but the, the, point, the point here is this. 
whatever predictions the Quran has made yes. have come true. Like whatever what? the well, that, that one. That one, for example. There's many or, events. Or being happened. defeated in the lowest lands. Yeah. And the lowest lands, when we find out where the battle took place, is the lowest part mm. of the earth. Okay? So the Quran makes not only predictions in terms of how it will be happened, but where it will happen, and it gives us something significant. And that part of the of the of the earth is the lowest part of the earth on the human. Oh, I'm sorry, on the global, uh, uh, you know, on our planet, basically, right? There are many yeah. other things, for example, like the Arabic language itself of the Quran. Mm -hmm. Allah says, if you are truthful, come up with a Quran like it. Then the I've challenge. Read lots of then the challenge is really just as interesting in English. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the Quran is in Arabic. The Quran is not yeah, in English. But it should be able to be translated. Yeah, but uh, is it not translated? If you translate into... a poetry of French poetry into English, will yeah, it sound the same? Yeah, you get the idea, though. Just oh. a zest. Of, yeah, the so idea. everyone has to become a has to read Arabic to understand Islam. Right? To truly understand French poetry, you have to learn French poetry. You have to learn French. Yeah, but if you want to truly are, appreciate, why the, didn't he? Why didn't he write it in English? Just, most people speak that's English a separate in the world. Question. That's a separate question. This, this no, is no, what you. No, 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 I, no, no, I think no. you want to make the evidence fit the crime in a sense. It's not really any. There are, non, there are many non-Muslim Arabs, by the way. Yeah, but I, the there Arabic's are non, there, an interesting culture and language. You know, at that time, it's interesting, right? It's history, it's historical, it's culturally relevant, it's part of the world now. But these things aren't... I mean, if the Quran had said, for example, that the Earth and the planets go around, it's a heliocentric solar system, that would be interesting. If it predicted the atom, I'm like... See, for example, let me... It, it then, says that they're floating, uh, floating, like, floating on their course. Yeah, but not really. They've been it's, assigned it's a course. It's serious. It, Plato had... I mean, all the Greek... And they it, came up with many errors, by the way. The Quran doesn't. That's the point. Oh my goodness! But look about the Arabic no, no, language. No, let me just. No, it's my turn. I was going to well, say. Let's stick so. to the language. For example, let's stick to the language. Why? Um, you know, uh, I think it's Democritus, is father of democracy. He You're came up with the idea of the atom. Eight hundred or however many hundred years before, he didn't need. He didn't need Islam or Gabriel. He used his mind to come up with the idea of the atom. Uh, Anaxagoras, the Greek philosopher, he looked at the moon. So using his brain, he worked out the moon shines. We're not claiming. You see, we're, no, we're wait, having two wait, conversations. Wait. No, yeah, no, yeah. no everything, every time I'm not, I interject I'm not claiming, something, I'm not involved no, no, in the no, conversation. No, no, I'm not claiming what you're trying to. Uh, All I'm pointing out is that, no. I'm. Let me just finish for a minute. I'm trying to say that yes, there might be some interesting things in the Quran. But that's from the human mind. I'm not, that's saying, not, I'm not saying that, though. That's, I haven't that's heard a single word See, the, the point that I'm trying to make to you, the point that I'm trying to make to you is this. The point that I'm trying to make to you is this. Yeah. Galen, you know, Plato, uh, Aristotle. Great they, thinkers, they, yeah. Great thinkers. They said many great things. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them were right. Yeah. Some of them were wrong. Here of course, you have, that's human experience. Right, and yeah. here you have the Quran also making many claims. Yeah, well, there's all lots of them, things all, I've read in the Quran all of, aren't All of them are right. They're not. Okay, like what, for example? Uh, the earth isn't a rug. Um, the <laughs> mountains aren't <laughs> pegs. <laughs> Um, Come on, this is silly. I mean, the, the embryology in there is spurious. Oh, um, the fact that salt and, uh, you know, when you get this sort of barrier between salt water and uh, river water, whatever, yeah, you can see that. Physically you, demonstrable. You can see that. If I got a jug of uh, salt water, sea water, and river water, and they'd mix. You just, put, just pour them in that's, a bucket. That's not what the Quran is saying. Yeah, yeah but these are miracles. Go, they, I mean, look, I'm not denying that Islam has its place and it's an interesting religion and it gives you faith. And, but these things is like. So, miracles they're just yeah. not they're just an observation if, of, a, of, a, of if, people from the seventh century if you if you say to me if they if they predicted well, nuclear energy or uh fusion uh, fission I want, i'd be I impressed scientific predictions just, yeah. Yeah. look if you say to me if you say to me they're wrong well they're, 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 they're the best they could do at the time the best they could do at the time i speaking yeah if you say to me that they're wrong and then you misrepresent what it's saying. I think that's so unfair, really. We can't have a sensible conversation. Okay, we look, can't. First, it, first of all, look. It, so. First of all, the Quran is I not. Am now. Thank you. First of all, foot, yeah. you can look, spread just, the word, brother. I was, I was look, hearing you. Look, was first hearing of all, we're not claiming you. that the Quran is a book of science. That's the first. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm simply saying that it touches on subjects of, of, a, of a let's say of a, of a naturalistic explanation of things. For example, it has a go, yeah. Very accurately and they do not contradict theory. with our modern concepts and understanding of those things. So when you say that the mountains are not pegs, not really, are they? If you say the mountains are not pegs, the Quran qualifies what it's referring to. Do the mountains have very deep roots Some below them? Do. do they? So occasionally you'll get a mountain like that. Yeah. No, mountains have roots. All mountains. That's well, a fact. Do you know about plate tectonics? No. Yeah? no. 
Mountains have roots, that's a fact. Mountains have some mountains deep have a deep some not all but deep roots. Mount, okay, mountains are a result of plates crossing over one another. Do mountains if the look, Quran? Let me just say, okay, your mountains have, have plates. Halal, right, okay. uh, mountains what, have roots. What does the, what does the Quran say? Why they have? Why Allah has designed them in this way? To hold down the earth. So the earth will not shake with you. Yeah, but so the earth will not shake with you. Do the tectonic plates get stabilized by deep-rooted mountains? No, they cause earthquakes. Shifting over one another, that's I what think, causes earthquakes. I think you need to study a little bit on this matter. No, this because is, okay. no, 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 no. Because, you're, because, you're an apologist because, for Islam. Because you don't no, have no, any no, idea no, no, because mountains, uh, geologists have said that these deep roots indeed act as pegs into the ground to stabilize the earth. I so sustain. No, that's not true. Well, okay. Do you understand giving, plate but, tectonics? But, yeah, a little bit, yes. I, I mean, do. this is GCSE yeah, yeah, geography I do. or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. So I do. you understand the plate... And this is a red... Are, this are, is the are mountains discovery. the cause of earthquakes? See, we're plate, not from the plates are. Plates are, but the mountains yeah, are not. Do you know how mountains but, form? By um, plates yes. pushing over that's and correct. pushing the earth yes. up like that. Or volcanic that. eruptions. Volcanic reactions are where the mantle, the, the crust is thin, yes. and the mantle and gets close. And you have close. volcanic, yeah. volcanic yeah. Uh, rock coming to the surface, yeah. and if that continues for a long enough time, yeah. you'll end up getting a very high mountain. No, mountains, mountains are cool. there is some truth in that, but mountains, yes. the Rockies, they're, they're all pushed up, the Himalayas are pushed up yes. by the continent of India. One rising above into, the other, pushing yeah, up. And that's yes. what they are. Yes. That's why you yes. can find fossils on yes. the top of Mount Everest. So do, deep, so do deep mountains, in terms of their, the, the, as the Quran says, pegs, do they act as a stabilizing it, force? So, no, because they're always moving. Plates are always moving. Okay, so what I would advise you to do, because we're here every five or six weeks. This is, this is uh, rather than put Rather than put you on the spot, Please provide your evidence. I'll give you my my phone number. No, man. It's I'll come right. up with my evidence and we'll, we'll compare the evidence. Because from my understanding of geology and what I've, which what is, I've, which what is I've read, uh, are you sorry? Are you? I've done more than a GCSE. No, but I understand. I understand plate tectonics. So we're both sort of GCSE level, yeah. You're not. I wouldn't say. I've, I've done my. I've, I've think, got three. I think you've probably looked at an Islamic. I've got three uh, size science. GCSEs. Three. Well, that's good. Physics, you, and I've got two other size GCSEs. I don't think GCSEs. you were there. Though, the basic, lectures, were you? I'm not saying, it, now I'm not saying it's deg I a degree. I don't think you were at the lectures. How, how many? So I got three GCSEs without lectures. So I must be a genius. Well, whatever you do. I okay. don't know. At the, at the classes. So though. when you talk about, for example, embryology. Yeah. You well, have. You, yeah. you understand the way the conversation start off on yeah. morality. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so, exactly, yeah, exactly. So because, yeah, because, because life's because, complex because, and things change. Because I know you don't really like change. Yeah, yeah. You, your way is change the, frightens through, you. Through, so look, anyway, my 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 understand under, my understanding of those concepts of the Quran. You don't like change. To me, I love change. Yeah, well, the conversation's Watson changed. It's okay. It's okay. No, so we've like, what, what we, what we, it's all right. What, what, Relax. What, don't get anxious. We're, we're not getting anxious at all. Things change. We're not going to get anxious at all. I don't get anxious at all. There's, there's, there's one thing about, there's one thing about conversation changing and a conversation being all over the place. I think and, it's and, been and, a reasonable and, conversation. And I, but I understand. But one not could, for you, maybe, because one, you haven't managed to convert me to Islam. I guess. Well, it's not about it's not about converting you to Islam. This is what you do. You want to convert people, people to Islam. Why do you want to convert? Well, okay, here's a question for you. Let me answer. Let me answer. Here's a question for you. Why do you want people to convert to Islam? Why do I want people to convert? That's for me. Alhamdulillah. Very good question. Right. If I feel that there is something that would benefit you in this world and the hereafter, would you not? Want me to tell you about that? Not if, not if you got, not because if you're going to threaten me with eternal hell. I'm not threatening. I'm not threatening you with anything.